Anyways, um, I landed here in New York, slept the whole fucking flight. I had my eye mask and my earplugs, and I was all good. That lady didn't drop that baby, and um, everything was fine. You know, nobody tried to hijack the plane. Everything was good. And I get in the car, taking the cab ride over to the hotel, and uh, they had Trump on the radio. And it's just that fucking guy, man. Jesus Christ. He was talking about some terrorist thing that happened in Sweden. He goes, I mean, this happened in Sweden, people. Sweden. He yells Sweden again. He just sounds like I just, I cannot fucking believe. (laughs) I can't believe that this guy is president and I cannot believe that he's, he's so successful at it. In that he's just implementing everything like I didn't know you could just go around Congress with these fucking executive orders, man. It's fucking hilarious that he's found yet another. This guy is like the if there's like a Hall of Fame for finding the loophole. I mean, he really is like uh, he's a fucking genius. I just wish he was more stable because, um, you know, Hillary would have scared the shit out of me in a much quieter, dignified way. Not even dignified, just as far as she knows how to rah, 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 and give a fucking speech. But um, I don't know. I don't know. The day he stops reacting to people saying shit about him at award shows, I think I'll feel a little more comfortable with the fact that he's, uh, you know, in power. This is like the most simple and basic thought I've ever had in my life, right? Is they keep talking about how the tensions, you know, that if Russia was actually in communication with Trump and Europe's all nervous because uh, Russia's fucking doing whatever over there and blah, 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 blah. And these guys are thinking this and these guys are thinking that. And I just was thinking like, hey, what, why doesn't everybody just fucking relax? You know? And I don't mean you. I don't mean me. We're just regular. Everybody's just walking around, you know, living your life, getting a fucking newspaper. Why don't these cunts up top, why don't you just fucking relax? I know this is way too overly simplified, but like I would have no fucking idea what another country was thinking or planning to do if you weren't yammering about it. All right. And if the other people on the other side weren't yammering about what the fuck we're trying to do. You know, why don't we just stay? Everybody just stays home. Where's your country? You fucking stay there, right? I don't mean refugees. I just mean leaders in your armies. Just fucking stay there. We bring our guys back. Everybody just sorts out their own shit, you know? And when people come to your country to go to your fucking water park or whatever, you give them the Mickey Mouse ears, you give them, you, give them, you put on a show. Well, why can't it just fucking be like that? You know why? Because they want to get the fucking, you know, it's natural resources and money. That's all the fuck it is. That's all it is. I don't give a fuck about all, any of that goddamn rhetoric. That's why the fuck they're doing it. And all they do is sit there scaring the shit out of you. I just wish everybody could, like, regular people just collectively, all at the same time, be like, and fuck it. Yep, yeah, yeah, exactly. Fuck it. Fuck everything you're saying. Fuck wars. Fuck all of this shit. If you fucking rich cunts have a problem with each other, why don't you sit down at your yacht clubs and try and fucking work it out, you know? Play a game of seven... seven Fucking something stud, whatever the fuck, I'm not a card player, whatever the fuck it is you do, you know? Enough with the blowing up of people and shit. Yeah, I don't know. I know, it's completely oversimplified, but like, yeah, it's sometimes, like, when I think about having mind control, like, that's what I think of doing. I just, have, you know, when like people on the terrorist groups all the way to our country start saying we're going to go to war, it's just like, yeah, no, you know, no, we're not. All righty then, and then just see what the fuck they would do. I think they would literally lose their fucking minds. They wouldn't know what to do because they'd just be like, well, now what? What am I going to do if I'm not out there trying to get more? What am I going to do? Sit here alone with my own thoughts? How many do you think would actually take their own lives? Like take that fatty over there in North Korea. I'm really in over my head, by the way, if you haven't realized it. This is like meet the press with no press or information. It's the same thing. I'll probably get sued by that program for uh, <laughs> ruining their format. Um, 
that fat cunt there. You know, old softy there. Doesn't have a whisker on his fucking face. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you ought to be able to grow a fucking crazy beard, man. You know, that, that that's one thing I'll have to commend that. I don't even know his name. Kim Jong-il? Is that his name? Or is it Kim Jong-il Jr.? Sonny Boy? Um, Frank Sinatra Jr.? Whatever the fuck his name is over there. Like, the fact that he can't grow a beard and he still has people scared shitless. You know, like, what if they could just collectively over there, everybody just be like, yeah, dude, we don't give a fuck anymore. Right? And everybody just goes about their business. He still gets to live in that big fucking house, but nobody listens to him. Like, like nobody will kill for him anymore. No army will do anything. But he still gets to keep the giant fucking house. Like, how fucking freaked out would he be? You know? Nobody really goes over, talks to him or anything. So eventually he has to come out and go to like a farmer's market, you know, and then you don't talk to him. You force him to acclimate himself socially, you know, like anybody else would if they were the new guy in town. If I had mind control, that's what the fuck I would do. Um, Would I? I don't know. What do I? I would probably do some evil shit. If you could control the entire world's fucking brains. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I can handle that. Power. All right, fuck that idea. That was a dumb idea. All right, all right. Ministry of Truth. Hey there, Billy. Hey there, Billy of Rights. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so fucking jet lagged here. This podcast is really just fucking lagging here, dragging, I should say. Lots of people are comparing Trump to Hitler. Uh, but back in December, Obama tried to quietly pass a bill that would allow the government. Yeah, I saw this. Have jurisdiction over news and outgoing information on all channels, i.e. TV, Internet, radio. That includes you. You can read the fine print in the article below. Also, fuck all the people listening who haven't read the legislation but are uh, already up in arms because it goes against who they cheer for. Amen to that. Amen to that. Everybody like like last night, all these fucking guys at this fucking award show, everybody trashing Donald Trump. Nobody brings up the fact that Obama basically signed something that is going to implement an incredible level of fucking censorship. Like they're, they're basically going to decide what is real news and what is fake news. I mean, I'd like to think because I openly admit that I don't read and the shit that I say is just fucking absurd that I would be, you know, exempt, but who knows? But like people with blue ties do this shit all the fucking time. And that's, that's what kills me about people who wear red ties and watch Fox News and the Hollywood people like they just cannot see the bullshit all the only it's it's like it's like listening to a, a, a fanatic Red Sox and Yankee fan you know what i mean you know giving each other shit for buying titles and fucking abusing steroids and it's like no we we both did it we both did it <laughs> we should hang our heads in shame collectively um all right, let me see if I can find this this article. I, I I don't really even want to fucking read this because this is just so fucking. Uh, let's see. Today I have signed into law S.2943, the National Defense Authorization Act for the fiscal year 2017. This act authorizes fiscal year 2017 appropriations principally for the Department of Defense and the Department of Energy National Security Programs provides vital benefits for military personnel families. Okay, blah, 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 blah. And where do we get to the... Yeah, dude, I can't read all of this. I can't read all of this. I don't want to fucking... This will take me fucking three hours to read. I have to, this, this would have to be a part of a, a mini-series for me to read all of this. Okay, uh, the, here's some shit in bold. The first priority is developing a whole of government strategy for countering the foreign propaganda and disinformation being waged waged against us and our allies by our enemies. Now that reads great, but it's basically, you know, they want yeah, listen to our propaganda, not their fucking propaganda. You know, our version of what's going on is right, and their version is wrong. We're all fallible. We're all fucking human beings, but we don't make mistakes. They do. So 
I don't know. It just gets back to all of that shit. And you know what, sir? You're never going to solve any of it. Everybody's just going to start fucking screaming at each other. And if you ever bring up something like that, people call you a socialist and tell you to get the fuck out of the country. If you if you would ever even remotely suggest that this government would ever fucking lie. They, they all lie to their fucking people. Um, oh, God, Bill, shut up. Okay.